Good day, I'm MJ Mercado. And I am Megan Garcia. We are delegates from Mapua University. Uh, Mapua University is a 100-year-old university located in Manila, which specializes in engineering and architecture. Mapua University was founded by Don Tomas Mapua, the first registered architect in the Philippines. Over the course of many years, Mapua University has been established to be one of the top performing universities in the field of engineering on East Southeast Asia. In this conference, with the theme of operational excellence in the era of industry, we wanted to showcase our study entitled An Empirical Analysis of Financial Ratio Trends of Several Companies Listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. To start off, it is a known fact that one of the primary benefits of investing in the stock market is the chance to grow your money and secure your financial position. But rewards always comes with a risk. They say stock market is risky even if it's going the right direction. There is a study that implies that there are three reasons or factors as to why stock market is indeed risky. These are volatility, timing, and overconfidence. Volatility is the instability of sudden changes in the stock price that is beyond investors' control. Next we have is timing. Timing refers to the prediction of stock prices that one can buy low and sell high. Lastly, overconfidence basically leads to carelessness in picking stocks and being not able to dodge unnecessary risks. Our goal is to present and come up with a possible course of movement of the indicators to help investors apprehend future changes in the stock price, with our objective as follows. First, we wanted to guide equity investors in their investment approach. Second, we wanted to provide a criteria that would indicate whether a certain companies can be considered equitable by potential investors. Third, we wanted to discuss the relevance of portfolio selection. And lastly, we wanted to prove that the portfolios consisting of companies that has most favorable financial ratios can outperform portfolios, return of the market index, and stock that has favorable ratio trends for a particular financial ratio. We consider this research to contribute into three ways. One is we wanted it to represent as an alternative investment procedure that can probably outperform traditional benchmarks like the market portfolio. Next is it provides a research on the study of portfolio selection using the Philippine data. Lastly, it refers to a simple variation of the basic framework of basic portfolio selection. Let's begin with the study by defining the market condition of the stock trading. The stock market only yields into two outcomes, which is bullish and bearish. Bullish is the state where the investors believe that the overall market will go higher. On the other hand, bearish means that an investors believe that a stock will go down or underperform. To further tackle the latter part of this research, my co-author, Mr. Mercado, will continue the discussion. So market condition today in the environment is it is 50% bullish and 50% bearish or 50% of the time it is high, 50% of the time it is low. That is why we have come up with a alternative investment procedure that can more accurately forecast of the market. So this is the framework of our study. First, we did return estimation, assignment of weights, and portfolio selection model. We did historical data for return estimation, then we use equal weights for assignment of weights, then we use equal weight strategy to select our portfolio. So return estimation, we use historical data from Philippine Stock Exchange Edge website uh, in which it has the financial ratio of the company and its stock data. The 2014 to 2017 data are used to analyze the trend and the 2018 data are used to validate the performance. Uh, these are the 12 financial ratios. We have the current ratio. It's analysis that if it has a higher current ratio, it is better. Then we have depth ratio, which, which if it has lower depth ratio, it is better. So same logic applies to the other 12 financial ratios. So methodology. Uh, investment pool criteria supposedly have at least 8 out of 12 favorable ratio trends. For example, we have 6 companies on our list. Then company 1 has 8 out of 12 favorable ratio trend. Then company 2 has 6 out of 12. Company 3 has 7 out of 12. 
Company 4 has 10 out of 12. Company 5 has 10 out of 12. Company 6 has 8 out of 12. The company with, which has at least 8 out of 12 favorable ratio trends aren't part of the investment pool. These are Company 1, Company 4, Company 5, and Company 6. So next is Portfolio Selection Model. Uh, we selected our portfolio through equal weight strategy, in which M is the number of added stocks into the investment pool and XI is the portfolio weight of each stock, in which XI equals 1 over the number of added stocks into the investment pool. In other words, uh, it is only that we equally distribute the budget to all stocks in the investment pool. For example, we have a 1 million budget, then we will dist equally distribute it to the companies in our investment pool. Uh, for example, we will give the 25% on the company 1, then the other 25% to company 4, the other 25% on company 5, and 25% on company 6. So the limitation of our study, due to the lack of time of our study, uh, we only limited to one back test. Though we are limited to one back test, it still shows that our study can outperform the market. There are three types of portfolio considered. First is DM or the market. It is the portfolio return of the market index in the Philippine Stock Exchange. The next is the PR or the stock which have a favorable ratio trend for a particular financial ratio R. The next is PN or at least N number of favorable financial ratios out of the 12 considered. So for PR, oh, out of 150 companies, there are 59 companies which has a favorable current ratio. And out, of, and out of 150, there are 47 companies which has a favorable quick ratio. Uh, to understand the performance of PR portfolio, although it showed a negative result on its return, it can still outperform the market because its return is greater than the market's return. The next is the PN portfolio. So this is the portfolio of the PN. The, out of 150 companies, there are 142 companies which has 1 out of 12 favorable financial ratios. Then there are 130 companies that has 2 out of 12 favorable financial ratio. Then there are 106 companies that has 3 out of 12 fa favorable financial ratio. And same logic applies to the other. Then though still that the from 1 to 9, it shows a negative result. It still can outperform the market because its return is greater than the market's return. So to compare both por portfolio, uh, PN portfolio shows a greater difference than the market than the PR portfolio. It only shows that the PN portfolio can outperform both PR portfolios and the market. In conclusion, after analyzing the trends of over 150 companies, we are able to say that PN portfolios to be superior to PR portfolio and M portfolio, proving that our procedure can outperform the market. To further improve our study, here are some of our suggestions. A pair return of different t-tests, different methods of return estimation, consideration of probability weightings, and utilization of other portfolio selection model. Before we end our presentation, we wanted to acknowledge our classmates that helped us gather the data in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Thank you for listening and happy investing!